question from the website. We build fiberglass pools in Fort Worth, Texas. We're looking at hybrid pools, the Alpha Evolution and Eco Finish used in combination. We've done some research online and there are positive outcomes and negative outcomes about the product. So that has me hesitating about getting into it. I've spoken to companies that have installed the product that aren't positive about it along with a company that had to reorganize because they had so many installs fail. They were using the product in 2013. Maybe it's gotten better. I read your review about EcoFinish and I was wondering if you have any updated insight. Is that your go-to product for hybrids? I want my customers to have the best experience and never feel like they should um, ever feel like they'd have to fill their pool in. We do some gunite remodels, which is our main focus. Now we want to build some more beautiful pools. Any well um, thought of advice would be welcome. Okay. Well, you're talking about two separate companies there. I know you mentioned EcoFinish specifically, but then you're also talking about the Alpha Evolution. I know both of the companies fairly well, and I think both of the companies have done a really good job of creating a good product. However, having said that, that while these are good products, rarely does the problem come in on the manufacturing end in either one of these situations. This is all on installation. So let's take the, the Alpha Evolution, and that's basically uh, uh, what would appear to be a vinyl liner pool, but there's no liner that goes in it. But it's a paneled wall that gets installed with a concrete floor in it, and then that surface is eco-finished. So that pool, in and of itself, is a good idea. When well-built, is a great product. When poorly built, is a poorly product, poor product. Now, it's not the product, it's the installer and the installation. Let's go to EcoFinish, the same thing. I've been at this a while and I've seen many people try a lot of different things and try to make money fast and try to cut corners and try to be cheap. Absolutely not the way to do it. If you follow and you learn exactly what EcoFinish is teaching and how to do the installation process, you'll have no problems. The challenge is when you try to cut corners or try to go too fast or try to schedule too many or try to make too much money too quickly and you, st you stop doing the necessary steps. And what it does is it just takes time and patience. You have to understand it's a premium product that requires expertise, not something that you just throw a crew at and have them go and do it. Because inevitably, if they haven't been trained specifically on how to do it, they're going to cut corners. They're going to try to make it easy for themselves, and it look, it's going to look great when they leave. Therefore, they did their job, and that's not the case. So I personally haven't seen a case where the product is failing. I've seen many, many and dozens of cases and heard all the stories and read the reviews how the product didn't work, and yet it can always be tracked back to how it was installed and the installer having nothing to do with the product itself. So while there's probably stories of that you were just in that question about people having to start over because so many failed and, and all of reorganized, I wouldn't doubt it, but I wouldn't blame the product. I would absolutely blame the installer on that. So hopefully that helps. I uh, do believe that it's a premier and an amazing product. I do know that there's pushback from a lot of the plaster end of the gunite business because it takes pulls away from them and that's just how that is but I live in a creative world not a competitive world and I like to see things that are innovative and new and I think it's spectacular